Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or hi if you're new here, my name is Emma, I make videos, I post every Sunday at 8 o'clock, so if you're not subscribed to my channel, you can go down below and do that right now. Also, my Instagram name is in the description box below, so you should go check that out. So if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, then you've noticed that I've started to lean more towards advice-based videos. Now, I'm still doing my old videos and all that stuff, but I thought that I would continue this new advice-based theme and start this new series called Real Talk. So this is the first episode of my Real Talk series. And basically, I got a lot of positive feedback from my past video that I just did about high school and stuff. I only had one thumbs down, which means that that's a good thing. Being rejected is a good thing. And I actually talked about that in the last video. So you should go check that out if you haven't done that. It will be at the end of this video. You can click on it and go watch that. Um, but anyway, so I thought that I would continue with that theme of advice and things like that and do a real talk about friendship. So that's all that this video is going to be. Just everything that you would want to hear straight up about making friends in high school. So the first thing, making friends is hard. I'm just straight up with you guys. Making friends can be so hard. I remember when I first got to high school, I felt so scared because I only knew one or two people there my freshman year and it was terrifying. I didn't know anybody else and I went to, well I go to such a small private school that I was put into groups with people that I didn't really know and some people I hadn't talked to in years and then all of a sudden they were the people sitting next to me at my desk. Terrifying. Also, I was homeschooled, so coming into this new environment was really, really scary for me. So, the first thing that you guys should learn about making friendships is trying to step out of your comfort zone. And I know that that's really scary and can be really hard for some people, but if you don't put yourself out there, then people most likely won't come to you. So, try to be inviting, smile a lot, talk to people, say hey when you see them in the hallway, and just try to put yourself out there a little bit. Something that I think is really important to have when you're in high school around friendship is having friends who will support you. People who will support you and uplift you in the ways that you need them. So if there's something like you want to try something new, your friends will be right there next to you encouraging you and cheering you on. Because I've had a couple of friendships where people have tried to tear me down and those are not good relationships. That's what we're going to define here as a toxic relationship. I'm going to put a little definition up here. A toxic relationship is this. Can't think of one on the spot so I'm going to think of it later and then put it right here. And I have been in some of those kinds of relationships where people are just constantly tearing me down and tearing me down and trying to hurt my feelings and try to be better than me and just not encouraging. And if you're wondering what that shaking is, that would be my cat. Let me put him up. I'll be right back. Such a good cat. Okay. BRB. I don't really remember where I was. Basically, just have friends that will encourage you and push you forward and to do your best and to make good friendships because People will tear you down and they just don't care about you and that's not going to be good for anybody. So if you're in one of those kinds of relationships, I highly suggest that you cut that off right now because you've realized it and don't wait for something big to happen to where you have that realization, oh, maybe I shouldn't be in this friendship or relationship. I just had the cringiest moment. I looked at my notebook. I was trying to write, some friends are for a reason and some friends are for a season. But I just wrote, some friends are for a reason and some friends are for a reason. <laughs> so apparently th that's it. No seasons, just reasons. No. Okay, let me actually talk about this phrase. So some friends come into your life for a reason. Now this can mean for a specific point in time they're going to come into your life and help you out through something that you need or you help them back and forth, like lifting each other up like I said previously or helping each other with a project or just getting to know someone or learning something new from them. So that's what I mean when I say some friends are for a reason. And then another one is some friends are for a season. Now we've all heard the phrase BFF, best friend forever, and then best friend for life and all that stuff. That's not always the case. Some friends come into your life just for a season. So what that means is not literally like winter, spring, summer, fall but like a season of your life. So maybe that's middle school, maybe that's high school, maybe it's college. Some friends just come into your life for a short amount of time, but they're there for some sort of a reason. So those two kind of go together, reason and season. And I think that that's really accurate because I've actually seen that in my life a lot and I'm sure that you guys have too. 
So this past school year has probably been my best year of friendships and let me just talk a little bit about that. So my freshman year, I told you guys before, I didn't really know a lot of people. I kind of had like a little group and then um, I broke away from them and got into a relationship with one girl, like a friendship, I mean. And um, it just didn't, things didn't go too well. I took down some wrong paths, I made some wrong choices. The relationship just, it was toxic. And I wish that I would have done something differently from the beginning with that. So that happened my freshman year. That person is no longer in my life and I am doing so much better. And then my sophomore year, I had built up some new relationships and things were going really good. But then again, that person kind of came back into my life and I thought, hey, maybe they've changed. Maybe I can give this person a second chance. It didn't work out. I do believe that you guys should give people second chances, third chances, and all that stuff. But at some point you have to realize if this person is continually tearing you down or hurting your feelings or just trying to make your life miserable, then obviously they're not your friend. Obviously they don't care about you and they're not worth being your friend and they don't deserve your time. So for me, that's kind of what happened. The person came back into my life, stuff happened again, my own fault. So try to avoid that. <laughs> um, this year is my junior year and since I broke away from that relationship and that person is no longer in my life, I have felt so much better. Once I completely severed that relationship, I felt like a weight was off my shoulders. Felt like I didn't have to try to please anybody. I felt like people weren't expecting the things that that person was expecting from me and things just got so much better. And since then, I have made friends with so many more people. I kind of felt like that person who I talked about before was kind of holding me back from people and wouldn't let me like expand my friend group because then they would get jealous sort of things. So also, if that's a deal that you guys have with your friends, if someone's getting jealous because you're hanging out with other people, that's not good, toxic. You need to have a conversation with them. And if they still don't get it, maybe you should cut them out of your life, I don't know. That's kind of your own decision. So now that I am no longer friends with this person, I have been free to become friends with all the people that I've ever desired to be friends with. And this year has been my year of having the most incredible friends. And I know that some of you guys watch my videos, so hey, shout out to you, you probably know who you are. But if you don't, here comes a little video compilation of this year and a little bit of last year and over the summers, videos and pictures from my new best friends. Love you guys. <laughs> and I loved it. Um, I hope that this video was helpful and you guys learned a little bit and um, just enjoyed talking to me a little bit, being real with me about friendships and relationships a little bit. So if you guys did like this video, please do be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below if you're not. Also, like I said before, my Instagram name is in the description box below, so you should go check that out if you haven't already subscribed or <laughs> haven't already followed that. Um, and if you have any more real talk video suggestions or any other regular video suggestions, DIYs, cooking videos, anything like that, please be sure to put that in the um, comments below or DM me any of that. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next Sunday at 8 o'clock. Bye.